Chapter Nine. Alan Campbell. I am happy the servants were out before. Dorian thought the house was empty and nobody saw anything. That's very fortunate. Downstairs in the living room, Dorian saw Basil's coat and bag and hid them in a cupboard. I'll burn them later, he thought. Then he sat down at his writing desk and wrote a note to a scientist called Alan Campbell. Ten years before, Dorian and Alan Campbell were friends. Forty-two Harley Street, London. Dear Alan, I'm sure you'll be surprised to get a letter from me after all these years. Please come to my house immediately. It's urgent. I'll explain later. Sincerely, Dorian Gray. Dorian called his servant from the kitchen and sent him to Alan Campbell's house with the letter. Alan Campbell arrived an hour later. Hello, Dorian. I was surprised to get your letter. We haven't been friends for years, so I didn't want to come to your house. Alan Campbell said, "But your note seemed very serious, so I came." It is serious, Alan," Dorian said. "There's a dead man upstairs. Please don't ask any questions. But you must destroy his body. You're a scientist. You know about these things. Please help me." Alan Campbell was shocked. "That's a terrible thing to ask!" he exclaimed. "I can't do it." "You can do it." I know you can," Dorian insisted. "You often see dead bodies, and they don't affect you." "How did the man die?" Alan Campbell asked. "Were you responsible?" "It was an accident," Dorian answered desperately. "I killed him by accident. You must help me, Alan. If the police find the body here, I'll go to prison." "I'm sorry," Alan Campbell said, "but I won't destroy the man's body." It's wrong. Dorian was silent for a moment. Then he said, "Alan, I know your secrets. You did some very bad things years ago. If you don't help me, I'll tell people about them. I haven't got any other option." When Alan Campbell heard this, his face became white. "I need some things from my house," he said in a cold voice. "You are an evil man, Dorian Gray." Make a list, and I'll send my servant to get them," Dorian said. Campbell wrote a list, and Dorian's servant went to Alan Campbell's house. Soon he returned with a bag of instruments and chemicals. Dorian wanted to be alone in the house with Alan Campbell. "You can leave," he said to the servant. "I'm going to a friend's house soon, so I won't need you any more tonight. You're free until tomorrow morning." "Thank you, sir," the servant said, and left the house. Dorian and Alan Campbell took the instruments and chemicals upstairs to the old study. Alan Campbell saw the body and the portrait. The cloth was still lying on the floor. He was shocked, but he didn't say anything. "I'll leave you alone," Dorian said quickly. "Please do your work and then come downstairs. I'll wait for you in the living room." He turned and went downstairs. An hour later, Alan Campbell came into the living room. He looked ill. I did what you asked," he said. "But I'll never speak to you again." He left the house immediately. Dorian went upstairs to the old study, opened the door, and looked inside. There was a strong smell of chemicals, but the body wasn't there. He put the cloth over the picture again and smiled with satisfaction. Then he locked the door, went downstairs. And prepared to go out. Everything was going to be fine.